Hi guys, welcome to my Team of the Month video. This video is made up of the best players from game weeks 14 to 19. The Christmas period is a little bit sporadic with game weeks and so I've tried to get you the best players from that time. So without further ado, here it is. This is how my Team of the Month shapes up. This covers the game weeks 14 to 19. As you can see, I have Cotois as my goalkeeper. He gained a total of 30 points in those game weeks with four clean sheets. And at the time of this video, he was priced at 5'9", which makes him one of the more expensive goalkeepers, but might be worth his money based on those stats. Sat in defence, I have Asla Quetta on 38 points. He also has four clean sheets based on being a Chelsea player. And he is fairly expensive as a defender at 6'6". For his price though, he has bagged one assist and gained eight bonus points. And so let's talk about the other Chelsea defender, Cahill. He sat on 36 points. He also has the four clean sheets that Courtois and Asla Quetta have. But because he hasn't gained an assist like Asla Quetta has, it's only bagged him a total of five bonus points. Still, you can't complain at two defenders up in the 30 points. And then the rows between two thorns, of course, it's Rose. He has bagged 37 points. His price is currently at 6 and so he's cheaper than both Asla Quetta and Cahill. And if you have a Chelsea forward or midfielder, Rose is a good alternative from another team. He has managed to bag himself one goal and two assists in those game weeks. And you know how I like an attacking defender. With the least amount of points, we see Mane on 37 points. Mane is currently 9-2. He's just dropped in price due to him going off to the African Cup of Nations. And so although he's contributed to my team of the month, he's probably not one to get in for the coming weeks. However, if you can keep an eye out for his return, it might be a payoff because in those game weeks from 14 to 19, he managed to get himself two goals and three assists. That's better than some of the stats of some more expensive midfielders. Next to him, we have his teammate Lalana on 45 points. Lalana has netted four goals and two assists. It's worth mentioning that both Lalana and Mane have had clean sheets, three of them to be exact, in that time. And Lalana has netted five bonus points to Mane's four. I keep my eyes on Lalana. I'm thinking of putting him into my YouTube team for Hazard, so he is definitely one to watch. Moving on, we have my boy Sanchez. Sanchez, as we know, is expensive on 11.9, and well, his consistency's been a bit iffy, but he did bag himself a hat trick, and so sits there with 49 points, with four goals and four assists, and so manages to get his way into my team of the month. Then we move on to the Tottenham midfielders. Spurs have definitely benefited from Ericsson and Ali's points. Ali is just one less than Ericsson between game week 14 and 19, sitting on 52 points. And Ali is one point cheaper than Ericsson too. Ali being 8.5 and Ericsson being 8.6. Ali has netted more goals than Ericsson, however, but has lacked in assists. Ali has five goals and two assists. Ericsson, on the other hand, has four goals and four assists. That sees Ericsson just stealing one more bonus point than Ali. Ericsson gaining seven bonus points in that period to Ali six. And so for that period, I have Kane on 39 points and Ibra on 52 points up front. They're both up there with the expensive forwards. Kane costing 10.9 and Ibra costing 11.6. In the 503 minutes that Kane has played, he scored a total of 5 goals and got a total of 1 assist. In the 540 minutes that Ibra has played, in that time frame, he has netted 5 goals and 4 assists. Ibra is also leading on the bonus point tally. He has 9 over Kane 6. And so if you had to choose between 1, looking on these few game week stats, Ibra is just pipping the post. But you can never really rule Kane out. And so I move on to my subs. You'll see first I have sat on my bench, Baines, on 33 points. I got him into my YouTube just last game week and it definitely paid off. But between the period of game week 14 and 19, he got a total of 33 points. That's not bad as a defender and was in close running for my top 12. 
Everton could also be a team to watch. They have some hot names in the transfer market. And so, if you're looking for an alternative defender, Baines could be a shout. He's also a little cheaper than the people I have in my main 12 at just 5-5. Five five. Second on my bench is Aki on 32 points. I drew this up before Aki was recalled back to Chelsea. And if you're in the same position as I am in my personal team, I now have four Chelsea players and no transfers to get anybody out. It's anybody's guess at this moment in time whether Aki will actually get any game time at Chelsea. I'm hoping he does. He's proved himself to be an absolutely excellent player at Bournemouth. And for that reason, he gets second on my bench. 32 points and just 4.4 in price. Aki managed two goals, two clean sheets, and total of five bonus points in 450 minutes of play between game week 14 and 19. Hopefully we see a lot more of him. My third and final choice on my bench is Gray. Gray has a total of 34 points in this period and is most certainly a cheaper option for a forward at just 6.2. In his 476 minutes, Gray managed four goals and one assist and that has seen him with five bonus points. He's definitely a great alternative if you're looking to downgrade one of your forwards and spend your money elsewhere. And that concludes my team of the month. These are my picks and I realise I've missed a few out that have done just as good as these guys. But if it helps just a few of you guys in your decision making on some of your transfers in the coming weeks, then that's fabulous. So that was my team of the month video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Until next time, don't forget to like, subscribe and do all those fabulous things Nymphria app.